Government Accountability Office released a report Tuesday presenting a bleak picture of the economic costs of climate change, which are expected to increase dramatically in the coming decades. The Democratic Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington and Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine requested the GAO examination of the country's ability to deal with this impending threat. Senator Cantwell joins me now. Uh, Senator, you requested this report, and um, i got to imagine that you... Uh, you anticipated that the news would be bad, but did you think it was going to be this bad? No, actually. Definitely motivated after seeing things like floods, fire, and drought in the state of Washington and knew that it was costing us, but wanted to do something very important to help address this on a national basis. So what are those things that can be done now that you have these numbers? And I suppose we should back up for a second and talk about some of the numbers. What stands out to you as the most important information that people need to take away from this document? Well, it's costing us hundreds of billions of dollars right now. The next 10-year period, you could say $630 billion. This year may be an anomaly. We're on the Senate floor discussing a supplemental for $34 billion, and we'll probably see another sizable budget before we end this year for flood and fire and these hurricane events. So we definitely are seeing impact increase in cost, and we need to address what we can do to help mitigate that. So we need to, but how will we? It doesn't seem to be a, a moment where people in Washington in the opposition party, the opposition to your party, are receptive to claims that climate change is driving up costs. Well, you're right. If I could be super aggressive, I would tattoo the word science on President Trump's arm. <laughs> but it probably can't be that aggressive. <laughs> so what I have to count on is the fact that the report is telling us some important things. The fact that regional science, so for example, the University of Fairbanks probably knows more about permafrost and what we need to do uh, to protect our uh, the tundra from the changes that we're seeing. Probably know a lot in the Northwest about fire and what we can do to reduce the impacts by better treatment of our pine forests. In the Midwest, they probably have better strategies for dealing with the drought impacts to agriculture. So instead of thinking about this just simply as a global issue, let's think about it as a fiscal issue because it is here and impacting our budget. And let's get about giving these regions the ability to try to address some of these impacts. How, how confident are, are you that this report is going to be a difference maker in the political conversation because, of course, climate change and the effects have been something that scientists have, have warned us about for, gosh, since the 80s. How, how is this going to be any different? Well, let's quit thinking about it in political terms and start thinking about it in fiscal terms. I know our colleagues from Washington, Idaho, and Oregon agreed on a better management strategy for forests to protect communities that might be impacted. So if our three states can do it on something like fire, I guarantee you we can do it in other ways. All right. And if, if this report doesn't work and the conversation around it doesn't work, somebody out there will find a way to tattoo science on President Trump's arm. Uh, Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington, thank you very much. Thank you.